your wins and you're having a hard time killing your enemies or just play, playing the game on a decent level this video might help you all right so yeah i think that's enough said let's jump right into number 10. all right starting off with number 10 parachute draft method to land faster and before everyone else so go ahead on the mini map and mark anywhere on, in the map it could be Pochinki, boot camp uh, hacienda anywhere but let's say for example you choose a destination in this case i'm going to be choosing farm so when i am 750 meters away you're gonna drop out and you're gonna look directly down and go sideways so not like you're not gonna go front ways with your face ahead nope you're gonna go sideways in this case farm is on my left side so i'm looking directly down while i'm while i'm keeping my movement analog like joystick to the left like yeah to the left and that's what you want to do because when you do this tip you're actually going at the fast pace down and like possible and that's 234 at a, at a speed of 234 so yeah that's the that's the fastest way to drop down and if we you and if you use this tip you will be able to land before everyone else that's correct that is correct and therefore you will have the advantage to get a gun before them and get more loot before them so you will have a fast start on the on, on the match so this is very very beneficial All right, moving on to number nine, go along the edges of the blue zone. So what I mean by this is that when there is like few people left and it's the last circle, like there is just you and maybe one other dude or two or three other people left, then you can use the strategy. I mean, it's just like you have to go along the edges of the zone, like, like in a circle, just all the way around the, your enemies. And this is very beneficial. Number eight how to spot your enemies faster so when when you i mean all the possible cover where could this guy be like be taking cover from if there's tree start looking at the trees if there's rock look at the rocks if there's a house look at all the windows yeah, i mean your enemy will always be taking shots at you while he's taking cover some kind of a cover behind the tree or behind the rock so that's the that's the message here and and this is just 90 percent of the time always your enemies your enemies will always be be thinking about the same all right i should camp behind this tree or behind this rock i'm kind of safe here so if you're getting shot from whether it's your left side right side behind you just look at the direction and just look at the, all the cover positions the trees the rocks and all that that's the only thing and that's the message here Number seven, hip fire in close range, never aim downside. So this one, there is not much to say about this one. It's 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 pretty simple. So when you're fighting someone and you're very close to them, like th the distance is so close between you and the enemy, you should not be aiming downside. If you are rocking an assault rifle, let's say Groza, AKM, uh, M416, the Scar, and when you are like in a such a close uh like distance between uh, you will become a very easy target and you will get sniped in the face just like this by this guy so don't do that so what i would advise you guys to do, and this is a very good movement like your enemy will not be able to hit that one hit that first shot on you if if there's an enemy having an eye on you with from a far distance like with an 8x scope or 6, 6x scope so then this movement is very very beneficial you won't get sniped number five play with headsets slash earphones for a better experience slash advantage um if you're playing the game like with no sound at all or even if you're just playing the game while the the game's sound is going out with the phones the speakers so yeah i mean you, you should probably try this out because it's going to be 
a game-changing experience when you're playing the game with headsets. It's more fun, it's more entertaining, and you will have the advantage. You will have a better advantage than you do if you're not using a headset. So yeah, that's my tip for you. Tip number four, trick your enemies with fake shots. So I see a guy up there on the on the on this stage, right? On this floor. So I want to get his attention. So what I do here is I swap my M4, shoot at this tree. This guy is looking out from the window. Dang, I get the headshot. This is like I mean you can use tip number three. Smoke grenade is actually useful and underrated. So what I always mean 2 till 4, between 2 and 4 smoke grenades, because I mainly play solo versus squad, but whether you're playing solo or duo versus duo, or you're playing a full team of all people, squad against squad, smoke grenade is actually very beneficial. You should be carrying smoke grenade, because you can never know uh, when, you, when, when you need them, because when you're in a position where you need cover, like you need to take cover and there is no cover around you. you you're getting ambushed or you're getting sandwiched be be between two teams you can throw down the smoke grenades and create some cover create an invisible wall that i would call it yep i see the smoke grenade as an invisible wall as you can see here i'm in the middle of two different teams so i'm i, I threw like all my throw grenades fr smoke grenades that i had so I feel better about myself and I feel like I got the situation under control. So yeah, I mean smoke grenades is very underrated. Uh, you, you should definitely try it out if you're not using them already. And yeah, this is a very very good tactic to use. Very good strategy. So number two, vehicle priority and protection. So in this one feeling more safe about it. As you can see here. I'm getting ambushed from three different guys, they're shooting at my vehicle, taking two steps back, blowing up my own vehicle so I won't get killed by that explosion, and then I'm trying to fight off these three guys, we're fighting for the supply drop, so yeah. My, my, uh, my favorite vehicle to use is the USC, and then number two, Dacia, but the first one is always the USC because it's so big and it's so huge. All right, number one, the last one, the last tip. Aim at your target faster. So this one is about how you can aim at your target faster, which makes you able to kill your enemies faster at a faster pace because you're, you're aiming at them way faster than usual. And what you wanna do here is that you like you have a crosshair, whether you're using an assault rifle, sniper rifle, or any gun, as you can see in the middle, you have these like um, white dots, which which is called the crosshair. And in the middle, you have this white circle. You wanna keep you wanna keep this crosshair um, towards your enemy. Like if you know where your enemy is, you wanna try to keep that crosshair towards them, as you can see. Because when you do that, and when you scope in, you you will automatically be scoping in into the enemy. Like yeah, as you can see.